Hi, my name is Kelsey Ryan and I'm a clinical pharmacist with Coastal Medical. Today I'm going to be talking with you about how to use a glucometer, otherwise known as blood sugar meter. So the first thing to do when checking your blood sugar is make sure that you have all of your supplies set up and ready to go. So as you can see here, we have our test strips, our lancing device, our lancets, otherwise known as the needles that we use to prick our finger, our glucometer, our alcohol pads, and our blood sugar monitoring diary. It's important to monitor your blood sugars and also record them in a blood sugar diary. This is important to take with you to your appointments with your healthcare professional so that you may review your blood sugar readings together. So now that we have all of our supplies ready, we're going to get ready to check our blood sugar. The first thing that we need to do is take our lancing device, twist off the top, insert the lancet into the lancing device, and press down. The top of the lancet should then twist off, exposing the needle. That should be then covered by the top of the lancing device. It's important to also note the dial on the bottom of the lancing device can adjust the depth of the needle that's used to prick our finger. The next step is to get our glucometer ready to go. We do this by inserting a test strip into our glucometer. When we do so with this meter, you will see a number flash across the screen. This number is used for coding purposes and should match the number also on your test strip vial. After our supplies are set up, we'll be ready to prick our finger. But before we do so, we need to ensure that our hands are clean. You can do this either by washing your hands with warm soapy water, or in this case, today we'll be using an alcohol prep pad. We're going to check our blood sugar using the outside of one of our fingertips where the least number of nerve endings are located. So that is the area that we will clean with the alcohol pad. Allow the alcohol a few seconds to dry so that it doesn't sting when we check our blood sugar. And use our lancing device to prick our finger. We do so by pressing the white button, which deploys the needle into the skin for a blood sh sugar reading. It's important to hold the lancing device firmly against your skin. And once you see the blood droplet, hold the glucometer to soak up the blood droplet into the test strip. After a few seconds, you'll have your blood sugar reading. Now that you have checked your blood sugar, it's important to write down that reading in your blood sugar log. This blood sugar log or diary is an important tool for learning more about how your blood sugars affect your body. It's also an important tool to share with your healthcare team so that they too may be aware of your blood sugar readings. If you have any questions about any of your blood sugar readings or about your particular brand of glucometer, don't hesitate to contact your healthcare provider's office at Coastal Medical.